Hi, this is Lee Garrett and welcome to another weekly tip video. We're on the iPhone today and do you remember the fanfare that came when 3D Touch was first introduced? In fact, do you even remember what it was? Well, 3D Touch came about in 2015 with the iPhone 6 and the 6S Plus, so a long time ago, and it allowed detection of how much pressure was applied to the display using pressure sensors. Then, in 2018, this was replaced with Haptic Touch on the iPhone XR and all models since then. And the main difference being that haptic touch relies on a long press rather than pressure sensing. So does anyone use it? Well, I do, but when I've spoken to people about this, I seem to be in a minority. So today I thought I'd record this simple video on some of the best use cases for haptic touch on the iPhone stock apps, as well as some of the third party applications that I use every single day. So these are the applications here and I will preface this by saying some of these actions we can execute can of course be replaced by widgets. However, not everyone wants pages full of widgets on their phone when a long press can be all you need. So I just wanna show you some of the quicker ways to get to some often used actions. Let's use mail first. To get to the context menu, I'm just gonna long press with my mouse, but you would ordinarily use your finger. And we can see the menu pop up. So I'll select new message here. And you can see this is just a quicker way of getting to the Compose screen for a new email rather than opening the Mail app and then clicking on the pencil in the bottom right hand corner. Let's go back and check some of these other quick actions that we have. So search is going to be found on almost all of the apps that we see here. So being able to search an application quickly from a long press is extremely useful. And here on Mail as well, I can quickly check how many unread messages I have from people I've marked as VIPs as well as a count of how many unread messages in all inboxes. And this is also a quick way of getting to them. And also all of the apps that you long press will have options to edit the home screen or go into jiggle mode, as I like to call it, and rearrange the icons. Or you can remove the app from the home screen or the device. Next, let's take a look at messages. And at the top, I can compose a new one, just like with email. And I've got two contacts that I can go straight to. So I've got Kelly and Amy. And these appear here because they are pinned contacts in messages. Let's open up and I'm going to pin Lilia as well. So I'll long press, select pin here, and I can see that she now appears at the top. So let's come out, long press, and sure enough, there she is now as an option. Okay, if you use the native podcast app, you can search for a podcast or check for any new episodes to make sure you have the most up to date ones. So let's do a search. And like all apps that you do this with, you'll be taken straight to the search area within the app. So I can do a search for, let's say, Mac Power users here. And there it is. And now I can subscribe to it if I wish or check out an individual episode and more. OK, into music now. And lots of good options here. So you can play all of the songs that are marked as favorites. You can play a curated station of music that's relevant to you as well as play the most recent track that you were listening to. So let's see my station. And I can see it's gone straight to it. It started playing and it shows me what's playing now and what's coming. So some nice chill out music there for when I work. I'm gonna stop though. Let's come out and go to phone here. Now from here, I can view the most recent call, which is handy for those missed ones. I can search for a contact or I can create a new one. But one of the best uses of haptic touch is for this camera app here, because this lets you go straight into selfie mode, into video mode, you can go into portrait or indeed portrait selfie. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, 
if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.